There's a path chose for everyone in life, but I think mine was all as he chiselled out for me. Realistically, I shouldn't be here. I'm being kidnapped under the booth, 50 grand on my head, 100 grand on my head. What the fuck have I been doing for the last like five or 10 years? People have been shot. They'll get blasted in their legs. They'll get petrol poured over them. They'll get set on fire. 10 key at 50 grand a key is a lot of money. People can go missing for that money. Bump and they're gone. Push comes to shove. I'm there to collect money, that's what I do. And that's what I've got. Ten years ago, Sean Smith was fighting a war against a rival drug gang. To win, he introduced urban terrorism to the British underworld. Victims were firebombed with homemade napalm, attacked with grenades, and sprayed up with machine guns. In retaliation, his enemies tried to blow Sean up with a car bomb, the biggest explosion on mainland Britain between the fall of the IRA and 7-7. Sean Smith was known as an enforcer. Today, after five years in prison, he is trying to modify those skills by working as a debt collector in the straight-going economy. I think if I took on every job that people offer you, I'd be dead in 12 months. I value life too much. I've always been out, debt collecting pubs, violence, you just call it enforced, I call it being a mediator. I don't give a fuck if anyone else will stand up against anyone. No one's got nothing, I haven't got. Every man's only got the same. The two wanted the most, and I wanted the most. It's not how big the dog is, it's how big the fight is in the dog. And I won't fucking stop, that's it. These are some of the lads that'll know me take with me. I can see the big fella there in the cap up. Alright. And yeah, you don't want them looking at you all that after you fall them over. Even when you do fucking smile. <laughs> I only just want to smile. Yeah. It looks like a bulldog tune of watch. What we're doing here today is um, it's a skipyard, you know. My mate got in a bother, was away for a couple of months. The fella seen an opportunity going, well, I don't have to pay him rent, he's not here. <laughs> you know, this is the way some people are and he's ran up a death, so he knew my mate was about to come out of jail. Uh, and he's basically filled the yard with contaminated waste. The environmental health will put a 300 grand bill on it to remove it. 300,000, it's a lot of money. So I'm hoping we can sort this out. Show you the All these, like, little areas in sight, this is, this is like our bread and butter, my bread and butter. These are all like working class people, you know what I mean? Little companies here, little, you know, welding, painters, garages. I do work for most of these around here. You know, the way the economy is now, the country's on its ass. But these people aren't fighters or so they think us and we come and collect it for them. But they all get to know us because we've, because we've got the gym and we're local, you know, there's always, you know, if you want like 10 or 15 members in 10 minutes, they can have that in 10 minutes. You know, you can't really get that anyway. We always make sure there's good, strong lads behind us. Uh, it's this one. Yeah, 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 it is this one, yeah. Yo, Tom. How you, mate? I'm at your yard now. Fucking hell, mate. What's all this? Jesus Christ. Well, what I'm going to do, we're going to... I'm just having a look on the cabin, see if there's anything here. We're going to fuck off. Mikey's going to sit on this tonight in case anyone comes back and forth. And then we, we can just nab, we'll just nab whoever it is then. Look at that, what they've got by the door there. Fucking blade. 
Well, you need to, to, Tommy, just tell us where he is, mate. Just give me a door to knock on and I'll do it. So we want 25, 25 grand off him up front and pay the rest off. And me, me and Mikey can collect it. You happy with that? Sound, go on then. Often, Sean's debts fall into the grey area between the legit economy and the underworld, a lucrative market potentially worth 150 billion in Britain. This is a typical debt for Sean, a dispute between a businessman and a gangster over 300,000 pounds. To recover the debt, Sean has brought backup and a dog unit. But just in case things get out of control, off camera, there is a notorious gangster with a history of firearms and extreme violence. We don't know, our mate knows him. He will know who we are after tonight. We're just going to go to his house now, see if we can have hold of him. It might just be a black man being in a cheap car, having a flat. He might just have that for his mail. Do you know what I mean? He might just check his mail, then fuck back off to where he's got his beer and his kids. Because we'll just knock on, I'll knock on the name and go, have you seen Andy? If you say yet, then that's it. Game over. Just press every buzzer. Hello. Yeah. Hello, bro. Hello, mate. So, will you could help me? Mm -hmm. Look for the guy called Andy Smith. Oh. It's like the United Nations. Yeah. Is it? Everyone here. He's got a silver yeah. cord. Yeah, yeah. Let's get some kids up there, just watch him. Well, I've only got to come in that way. Yeah. So one of them just parks up tonight. Yeah. I'll just wait for this. Probably just an eyeball place You know, some debt you can ring up, you can make a phone call, get paid. Some debt you turn up and before you know it, you're all rolling around the floor like a, a gang of idiots. This one is just, it's a waiting game. He's obviously having a good time with someone else's money, but that time will run out as soon as it does. Here's the knock. This fella you're going to see on the celly now is the local fucking bully. He stabbed a pregnant woman, battered an half fella, 71. I knocked him out last year, broke a jaw, knocked 60, out, put him in hospital. Uh, and he stayed away for a year, and there he is trying to come back. I got more pissed off that he interrupted me reading me Bernard Hopkins <laughs> fucking article. <laughs> Still not finished that. <laughs> People love training here, coming in here and just, just coming down for a cup of tea. You know, I want to chat, you know, even at the train. You know, and they'll sit there like old grannies, some of them. So they all go around the corner drinking tea. And just gambling, you know. Did you watch Connie last night? No. Oh, mate, it's fucking posh. No, it's not only a soul. It's not only a soul at all. It's mad. So, of course, that's been fast. You're all like, you're all like, bye, like. It's like a community centre, really. It's, uh, it's, done, it's done a lot of people, actually. You know, it's uh, kept me strong a few times as well. So, I mean, I help a lot of them out. It's like the kids who. Got sections and he's just come out today. He is a boss, boss kid and a top promising boxer. You come out of Winnick after being sections, he's come right here to see me, one for work and two to train him. You've just got out! I know, but I want to go. He's got to get me a little bit of your anger. You'll get him, put him in the room, you just want to. He's not going to know you, is he? No, that's what I mean. Because he knows we're after the job now anyway, you know what I mean? So. We get up, told him you're not fucking up, but I'll pay you away from him. It's good money, mate. It's good money. Yeah, about uh, uh, bipolar, personality disorder, bipolar, and uh, violent tendencies. So, but if it weren't for Sean, I'd probably be dead myself. Because I self, as you can see, self arm. St I stab myself, cut myself. That's. You can see me rib. You can see me rib when I take that off. So can you tell us about what was the situation? Uh, a woman. A woman winding me up. How did I do it? Yeah. God, no, I stuck it in and ripped it. Had, uh, 180 Valium as well. So I took overdose at the same time. So that's when you put in the. Uh, Allen's Park, which is Warrington's not not house. I'm still going to fucking get to you. 
But he, like he says, Sean keeps me on straight and nada. He says if they do it again, he's gonna knock me out. So I think that's enough. Come, come, on, come, 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 and we are going to help him get him through this because he is a top, top kid and his talent is unbelievable. It's just that these problems he's had. When I was 10 to 11, I was uh, sexually abused by um, a lad that my mum used to foster and I felt like I wasn't a man for years. And that's why I took up boxing, street fighting, you know, mixed martial arts to prove to myself that I'm a man. You know, instead of feeling weak and vulnerable like that lad made me feel. And every time I fight, I picture his face. I remember st standing there looking in the mirror thinking, I fucking hate you. I want you dead. And I just got a blade and I cut myself. And then I felt better. I didn't hate myself no more. So I wasn't taking the drugs as much. So when I fell down, I was cutting myself. I ain't got no more room anyway to cut myself now, so I don't think I'll be carrying on doing it. What's that? You can't do bodies, but No. What's fucking done? Fucking idiots. Have you had a bike? No, can you go to the have you got some man, did you? No, I've got a fucking pass on the house. That's fucking stupid. I'll tell you what I'll do here. No, next time you do, mate, I'll buy you from the gym. I mean it. I mean it, last chance. Last chance, mate. Love you. Go on, give me some. See you later, lads. See you later. Go, Greg, let's go. Greg, come on, come on, Jay, Greg. Last minute. Come on, go, 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 go. Greg. Sexual abuse is an unspeakable taboo in the underworld. However, male rape is commonly used as a weapon by gangsters to enforce a debt. This is a less well-known form of underworld violence, which acts as a powerful propaganda tool over and above the physical and mental suffering it causes. I went with these two older fellas, proper hard case fellas, the one had done two murders. And he went, come with us, collecting a debt. I could have a little bash and, you know, I'd have a go over anyone. I said, yeah, 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 come on. They've gone, right, go and have a look around the house, go and have a look upstairs. I goes upstairs, just having a mooch. See, any money, any jewellery? All right, I'm looking around, neck and neck and head. Go on, John, go on, go on. What the fuck's going on there? Comes down. Here's Don, this fellow who's like, showing me how to do doors, respect everyone. Dead respectful. Dead Curtis with his bear and his kids, but a very wicked. Not, not, I wouldn't say evil, but wicked, you know what I mean? He couldn't really fight, but he was dead, dead wicked. And they've got him over this table, and he's fucking shagging this fella up the ass. And the other fella is taking pictures. I went, whoa, whoa, what's going on? He went, Sean, Sean, just shut up, just watch. I went, well, I, I, hang on, John, John, he went, leave it, leave it there. Watch him there, son, watch him there. Left them a little note, be fuck off. There's a little note there, pay, and a picture. You ring them back up, you know what just happened. We want the fucking door within a couple of weeks. These pictures will get put everywhere. Your credibility is gone, and we'll tell everyone you're a faggot. I went, why can't we just fucking pay them? Break something. He went, he's used to that, you're on his life, one of us. He'll stand and have a go two weeks after the fella's paid. But six months after that, the fucking fella hung himself. He couldn't live with it. Yeah, he, he couldn't live with it. The shame. You fight fever for you. He said, that fella can have a go. We go there, give him a pacing. He'll pay someone to come and give one of us a pacing. And that's the way it'll go on. He said, take everything away from him. <laughs>